Just look at that. Irish Guinness sausage stout pie. Unbelievable. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are doing an Irish. We are using Guinness, a whole can of Guinness, you know. You see all these recipes, use Guinness and they only put a little bit in. We will chuck it all in as per usual. We are making a fantastic Irish. We're using Irish sausages. And we got a nice drop of Irish vintage cheddar. Wow, can't wait to use it. So with these ingredients then, it can only be one thing. We are making a Guinness Irish sausage stout pie. Fantastic. We're going to top it off with some Irish cheddar and we've got a bit of veg. We've got celery, onion, carrots and I've got some prepared mashed potato already. Let's get into it. Come on. Everything about this recipe today is chunky. Chunky everything, apart from the garlic, you can mince it as fine as you want. So we're just going to give that a little squashing on there. And we're just going to chop it over. Now, like I say, chop it as small or as big as you like. It doesn't really matter. We're doing chunky, it's staying chunky. Now, I'm going to chuck everything in the same bowl. Garlic in there. I've got some celery. Okay, not the best looking, but that doesn't matter. We're doing chunky. You can go thin slices if you want, that's up to you. We want good centimeter pieces. Thereabouts, or half centimeter. We want to be seeing the celery in here. We want to be seeing the carrot, an onion. And you can do as much or as little as you want. If you want to put five or six sticks of celery in, please do so. Same with the carrot. We want nice bits of carrot. Now, I'm just taking that end off there so we can. Now, the carrot can come a little bit thinner than the celery because it's a bit harder. Fabulous. Carrot bowl. Easy as that. Everything in the same bowl is all going to be chucked in the pan at the same time. Now it's a very oniony one this one. I've got a couple of onions. I've got a big one and a small one. So the small one. Nice and steady. We're doing cubes of onion. I'm not even breaking it up. It'll break up in the pan. Just chucking the bowl, everything in the bowl. Another onion. Really, really straightforward. Get a pan on. Okay, everybody that subscribed to the channel has seen it before in there with some water in there with some oil we're doing the boil fry method of sausages now you can cook them any which way you want but i would recommend this this is our irish links or our irish sausages they're not linked anymore in there bring the water to a boil for the people who have never seen this before bring the water to the boil let the sausages cook in the water by turning them over rotate them over they will plump up with the filling that's inside they could burst depends how quick you cook them if you cook them slow they'll pump up really big it doesn't matter what sausage you use this maximizes the sausage Get the best out of your money. Let it cook down. The water will evaporate. The oil will take over. We brown the sausages. So you get these plumped up, maximized sausages, browned off, ready for our 
by. Easy. So just keep working your sausages. Can you see how they've plunked up already? This is how you maximize shop bought products. And what also happens as well, that the sausages firm up with the actual um, filler and everything inside. So you have a really nice firm sausage. As you can see there, look, the water is virtually evaporated out of the pan and we are going to start to brown these sausages with the oil. Okay, when you got a little bit of colour on your sausage, out it comes. Get your sausages out. Oh. Just put them to one side. Now we've got this pan full of flavour going on in here, which we are going to use. Butter in there. All our veggies. Let's give them a fry in there. A little stir around. Fabulous. Quick little fry on there. Start to loosen them all up and cook them down. Little turnover. Nice and steady. This look at those chunky veg in there. Fantastic. In there, pinch of thyme. Oh, some fantastic chunky veg there. In there, a little bit of Worcester sauce. Oh, smell that flavour. Wow. I'm going to be going in there with about a good tablespoon of tomato paste or tomato puree, whatever you know it by. Nice little stir in. That's going to cook up some of that sourness of the tomato in there. Smells, it absolutely smells incredible. In there, a really good heaped tablespoon of all-purpose flour or plain flour. Cook out that flour in there. Give it all a turnover. We're just taking out the rawness of the flour with the veg. Beef stock made up with a cube in there. Fabulous. Okay. The most important ingredient of this, our stout. The whole can in there. Oh, fabulous. Let that cook for about 12 minutes. And that'll give us time to actually slice up our sausages. Okay, our sausages then, we need to be slicing those through. Again, we want some chunks. Get some nice chunks of sausage in there. So we're just cooking this down for about another, probably about another eight minutes actually. And all these veggies will have wilted down and be soft but not cooked mushy. Let's get our sausage in there. Back in with our sausage. And let it all cook together. That is fabulous. Just remember, keep coming and stirring. Make sure nothing sticks on the bottom. I mean, this is not sticking. However, the gravy is thickening up. We've had about 12 minutes there. That's enough for me. That's off. So let's get the oven on. We want the oven on about 180. Grab yourself a tray and a suitable dish. Now, what I'm going to attempt to do is put this in here with a slotted spoon 
and leave some gravy behind. That's the plan. Might not work. Make sure you get some sausage everywhere. Whoever scoops in wants to be scooping in and getting some sausage. Well, I don't think there's going to be enough actually, so what we're going to do is we're just going to tip it all in there. We want the gravy in the pie. Mashed potato on there, come on. We're keeping it Irish. We've got to get the spuds on. Going straight down the middle as usual. And then into the sides. You want to be taking your fork and you want to be bringing your mash out to the sides. The idea of it being on a tray, it will bubble over. Now you can smooth as much as you want. That is entirely up to you. I don't smooth out pie tops like this. I prefer to have all the nooks and crannies and everything cooking brown. And remember that Irish cheddar? Oh, here we go. Come on. There's enough to give us a lovely Irish cheddar crusty potato top in the oven. Come on. About 20 minutes. Time on 20 minutes. Time to wash up. There we have it, cooked. Oh, look at that. That is a bit special. Wow. Oh, I can smell the sweetness of that gravy coming through there. And that melted Irish cheddar. Come on, let's cut through the top of this cheese. Oh, 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 oh this is awesome. I can smell it coming out already. Is it a middle or a corner? We're going for a middle. Let's get in here. Oh, come on. Look at that. Just look at that. Irish Guinness sausage stout pie. Unbelievable. Come on. Oh, we're in on this. Oh, Irish sausages. Mm. Pork sausage is beautiful. We've got that Irish cheddar on the top of that mashed potato. We got that lovely Guinness gravy. Come on, let's go for the full Irish. Oh, and a sausage. That is absolutely amazing. That is incredible. We've got some nice crunchy veg. Look, the carrots and everything have still got crunch in them. Fantastic. The sweetness is created by all that veg that's in that pan with that Guinness. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely phenomenal. Fantastic gravy with that Guinness. We've got that Irish cheddar on the top of there. So if you like what we're doing, don't forget, share with your friends, share all over, big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. Catch you in the next video. Serve with a side of cabbage. Whoa.